what's this again? Oh, that is just a tachyon compressor. It creates an anomaly that simulates interim time. Follow-up question, who likes a smartass? No one? Correct. A platypus basket. I wonder what it's used for. Nothing's ready for the garbage pail yet. A handsome little fellow. Goochie, goochie, goo. A handsome little fellow. Goochie, goochie. Ah. Hey, stop that. The little fella's pretty aggressive. Uh, probably had a miserable childhood. No friends to help him sabotage strangers' training wheels. Hmm, so sad. Come on, get in there, you. <laughs> oh, quit your whining. Your old cage didn't smell any better. A handsome little fellow. Gucci -gu What we're missing here is an underpaid assistant. Shouldn't be hard. After all, this is a university. Maybe it's time to pass the torch to the next generation. Like in all of my favorite movies. Alf 4, The Miscarriage, Cowboy Dodo, and the Alien Blockheads. Or Space Teddies, Kidnapper's Caravan. Maybe it's time, like, Alf, Cowboy, or... Where can I find McChronicle's time machine? If McChronicle was working on something, then it would definitely be in his shed. But no one is allowed in there. The Dean locked it and pocketed the key. Where can I find... If McChronicle... But no one is... The Dean... I should be mad at her, but she always gets this cute little frown line between her eyebrows when she gets stubborn. Cole, what are you doing? What's it look like? I'm interrupting your lecture. But you, you can't do that. Oh, really? What are you going to do about it then? Have me fail the exam? I'm trying to restore time here. The time when it's alleged that I've fallen in love with you. No thanks. Can you at least take your feet off the table and take your hat off? You're undermining my authority as a teacher. What's with the silly get-up anyway? Take a guess. I've made myself my own tinfoil hat, so that I will always remember what a complete and total idiot you are. Can someone tell me why the time is not proceeding? Because your lecture is mind-numbingly dull. That's why. How long is this seminar, anyway? All day seminars run until 8. What? But that's far too long. It's already been too long. Oh, that must be McChronicle's umbrella. Always prepared for anything, always assuming the worst. And everything, as always, without any style whatsoever. You can't just leave us unattended. Oh, yes, I can. Watch me. Open your books to page 50. <laughs> you can't find what McChronicle taught us in a book. <laughs> so you need a practical assignment. Nothing easier. I'm a man of action myself. Where are you going? You were going to get... Well spotted. That just got you an A+. So, pay close attention. Moment, mom, mommy. I think I missed it. Uh, will that be in the exam? Boo! Take it easy now. Nothing can happen until I uh, press here, right? Aha! Uh -huh. And what is that? That's a temple anomaly. A new layer in space-time that possesses all the known characteristics of interim time. I see. Like a balloon slowly being filled. No. Not like a balloon in any way at all. 
Why not? I like balloons. And what is that? That's a temple anomaly. Oh, yeah. The balloon. No, not the balloon. <laughs> Maybe you just don't know the right kind of balloon. He doesn't look particularly motivated. I'm sure all he needs is a nice long speech about the difficulties of finding work in today's marketplace. This isn't a weather experiment. It's a time experiment. Easy to confuse, I know. Remember, observe the anomaly, take notes, and give me a good evaluation at ratemyprof.org. Hey, I found the scaffold! It flows downhill, but it flows. It reminds me of someone, my tax consultant. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Ugh, stubborn as a stop sign. Mm, it seems I don't have the right bait for my platypus. Somehow I doubt that'll lure the platypus in. Spoiled beast. He's not done yet. He just needs a little motivation. It seems to be the university mascot. In professional circles, this kind of thing is called boomerang understatement. Piñatas on Barbecue Thursday should be a tradition. And who did it first? Well, strictly speaking, those two. What are you doing? What does it look like? Oh, of course. You couldn't know. Oh, of course you couldn't know. It looks like two blind chickens wandered into the field. Further proof, if it were needed, that eyesight counts for nothing. We are professionals in our field. Uh-huh. Hitting the old junk ball? Battering smart asses. Oh, don't worry. He hasn't completed his training yet. That's why he's using the training bag. Training bag? That looks to me more like a Drexican pinata. Typical sighted person. It's not always about how things look. But rather than it rains candy? No. But that doesn't hurt, right? Well then, let's see what you can do. I can't even see properly with these ridiculous glasses. Your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. When I could see, I thought it was a good idea to marry Mrs. T <laughs> was she also blind? Okay, that's done it. Show this big mouth what you've learned. Did I hit anything? Yes, the core of the first lesson. You will not hit your target as long as hitting is not your target. And strike. Did I hit anything? Not while you still play to win. Play to learn the value of winning. And... Did I hit... Not while you play to... What is this supposed to be? Zen and the art of beating things up? Exactly. Only through absolute calm and balance can aggression be perfectly channeled. Oh... My ass. What is this supposed to be? Zen... Eggs... Only... Th oh... 
What's the deal with those stupid glasses anyway? They help me to focus on my target. By making you practically blind? That sharpens all my other senses and protects me against pollen, household dust, and goat mites. I suffer from allergies, you see. Well, methinks you stand on the wrong side of the junk ball bat. Aw, oh, how is he ever going to get his gold back if he can't see the end of the rainbow? Pinatas on Barbecue Thursday should be it. And who did it first? Well, strictly speaking, those two. Hey, stay away from our junk ball training bag. Training bag? That looks to me more like a Drexican pinata. Typical sighted person. It's not always about how things look. But rather that it rains candy? No. But that doesn't hurt, right? Uh, anything else would have been a disappointment, to be honest. Huh. Photos of baby wombats. The pony of four walk through for sale. Hey, that looks interesting. Do you want to share my lunch with me? <laughs> Love to. I'm hungry. Now all I have to do is find this romantic ninja. doing here you should be lecturing I just wanted to stretch my legs then stretch them back to the lecture hall and don't come back until the bell is rung go on then hop to it That must be the student tobacco Lonzo's always talking about. A plant whose normal habitat, funnily enough, seems to be the balcony of shared student apartments. The plant smells like Lonzo's back room whenever that thrash metal band comes to visit. Ooh. Locked. <sighs> Anything else would have been a disappointment, to be honest. Does one of you by any chance go by the name of Romantic Ninja? Uh, Mr. Rufus, please don't. You're Romantic Ninja? <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> Did you know that he's a Romantic Ninja? That according to this note, he bears the black belt in the arts of love. I wish the ground would just swallow me up. No. You didn't know that. Moo -moo -moo. That must be because he merges with the shadows of loneliness. Or so it is written by him. Luckily, I found this note. Because if you are threatened on the battlefield of love, which apparently applies to me. Threatened? My katana has ripped your heart to shreds. He offers the following. Do you want to share my lunch with me? Here, you can have it. I've lost my appetite. Thank you, Romantic Ninja. Your courage and generosity will not be forgotten. He's romantic, a ninja, and... What would happen if I were to hold this lunch in there? 
Me, me, me. Uh, time passes much quicker in the anomaly than outside. So, the sandwich will get old. Well, anyone could have foreseen that. Now it's only good for duck food, and I have to cut my fingernails again. I've been doing those time travel experiments for years. I still find remnants under the sofa. Good bait catches fine fish, unless you're into worms, in which case you can cut out the middleman. A platypus basket. I wonder what it's used for. Always, that must be the Chronicles umbrella. Always prepared for anything, always assuming the worst. And everything, as always, without any style whatsoever. Nothing's ready for the garbage pail yet. The plant smells like Lonzo's back room whenever that thrash metal band comes to visit. Ooh. bait catches fine fish, unless you're into worms, in which case you can cut out the middleman. Good bait, cat, unless you're in. Let's see if this can motivate him. Yikes! What's going on? Me, me, me! Stereo monocle? My name's Norbert, Professor. Nerdbert? I can remember that. And your answer is. The inflow of energy caused the expansion of the anomaly to increase. Now, inside simulated interim time. And then all of a sudden, time just flies by. Momo, 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 momo. She said only inside the bubble. Correct answer, but points off for interrupting. Underbite Valkyrie. Her name is Hildebrain. <laughs> Her parents were jokers, were they? No, scrap landings. She's an exchange student. And I'm Daniel Glandular. And am I supposed to remember that now, or what? Yippee! School's out. Uh, don't you want to turn the anomaly off first? Lesson two, never want to do something that somebody else can do. when it was getting exciting. Boo! Everything comes to an end. Get used to it. And, are you coming along? Well, I can't see the sense in that. Uh, was that a yes or a no? to stem the damage that my son has wreaked upon those poor students? Stem? <laughs> I eradicated it. Which damage were you referring to? Those stupid ideas about time travel, of course. Junior claims, in all seriousness, to be able to create time anomalies. He says he's built a machine in his shed that can travel back and forth through time. And then he holds lectures on the subject behind my back. Thankless firebrand. Firebrand? He always seemed to me to be so careful. Downright boring. Yeah, I wish. Imagine it. My son, of all people. A dreamer. A fantasist. Yes, an anarchist. Honestly? Huh. This is not a pipe? Man, the artist really missed the boat on that one. Ha! 
Ha! <laughs> it is so a pipe. You can't pull the wool over a Rufus's eyes. The plant smells like Lonzo's back room whenever... You smoke? Not anymore. Although on days like this, I wish I'd never quit. I, I, isn't that a little unreasonable at your age? The nicotine chewing gum was worse. Destroyed all my baby teeth. I sense another key moment. Personally, I prefer those break the window and turn the doorknob moments. But hey, you can't always get what you want. Hands off! That's the key to Junior's laboratory! And the whole place is contaminated with crazy ideas. So you don't believe in temporal anomalies? How could I? I'm a scientist. And a very youthful looking one too, much younger than your own son. I jog. And you don't find anything strange about that? I don't know what you're trying to say. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Why? Is my tie crooked again? The way I see it, there's a lot more wrong with you than just your tie. Good grief. You're right. My pin badge from the Order of Strategic Repression is bent out of shape. What is the Order of Strategic Repression? I don't know what you're talking about. Could it be that your son is right after all? Don't you start with that as well. There's no such thing as a temporal anomaly, basta! How do you know that? Because I, unlike Junior, am a real scientist. And a very youthful looking one, too. And your point is? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. But... For the last time! There are no anomalies in time! Time anomalies are nothing but fantasy! Illogical, badly thought through, unscientific! I will not let my coherent worldview be destroyed by... by... Some random tin foil hat wearer! Whoa, chill, dude. But. For the. Whoa. A warning sign for birds. Who thinks this stuff up? Birds don't need warning signs. They're free! Free! And if they want to fly into stained glass windows, they have the right to do so. They are pretty. They are colorful. And more importantly, they aren't part of some stupid mosaic puzzle. At least his taste in hats seems to be gradually improving. At least his taste... Please, Professor. Don't disturb him. He should be given time to think about his mistakes. <laughs> That's what I always say, too. But it's way funnier when you say it, because you repress your own mistakes. They are pretty. They are co- And more importantly, they aren't part of some- Ah, <sighs> my old pipe. That's just what I need right now. Oh, strong stuff, this tobacco. It, uh, <laughs> it reminds me of my college days. We were so crazy back then. So, Lala Cuckoo! <laughs> Wasn't very good for us. We experimented with everything. <laughs> with plants, with time. And with women, of course. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to hear that. Mrs. McCronicle was one hot chick. <laughs> ah, too much information. I was even more crazy than he is today. My mother didn't like it at all. She never wanted me to go to university. I was supposed to take over my father's business. 
the garage. Rocco McChronicle. He said playing with time would only end in tears. What my butt for my girlfriend. I was already 25. <laughs> may I? I don't know. If you may, I may, right? Uh, sure. Yippee! Psst! McDiaper pants! Your father is distracted. We can go! Go without me. He's right. I need to think about my errors. No, he isn't. There are temporal anomalies. I know. We created them, and as a result, ruined everything. Well, and your plan is to give up now? When everything is at its worst? Don't you understand? It's always at its worst. This here is no loop. It's a downward spiral. tells me that for once, I'm actually going to require a little assistance. Yeah, this is nothing but waste oil. Somehow I had expected liquid brine. Something tells me that for once... It smells like feta cheese. A professional scientist needs no further evidence to know what to do now. As long as the tank is empty, no pressure can be built there. Somehow. Ah, you're still here. Of course, Mr. Rufus. After all, we are on the cusp of an epochal discovery. And anyway, there are junk ball jocks waiting outside the lecture hall again. They'll have to wait. We are going on an excursion. Pack your things. We're off to... Ma, ma, ma. The neighboring building. Thanks, Hildebrain. Somewhat misplaced, but you still get a star. Wow! Cool! Whoa. Impressive, isn't it? What is it? Me, me, me! Ah, nerd bird? Oh! An impulse-induced tachyon field generator? Mm hmm. Popularly known as a... Anyone? Perhaps a chubby over there. Mm hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Time portal machine? Time portal machine, precisely. Because it creates a time portal. But where? Sure, of course, the interim time. The turquoise tunnel, as we experts also call it. And now... For the master question, how to turn that thing on? Turn it on? But, uh... All right, people, I want discussion. Mm. Mm, that thing at the front must be the tachyon tank. But the milk bottle with the bicycle pump? You need a substance that emits tachyons. Ugh, by the smell, I'd say it used to contain feta cheese. And you have to adjust the nozzle so they concentrate on the thinnest place in space-time. You can detect a so-called potential portal with 4D glasses. 4D glasses, feta cheese, 
Anything else? You're not intending to open a portal into interim time, are you? And why not? But Chronicle says it's too dangerous. It could perforate the whole of space-time. Oh, hogwash. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. You can't win if you don't buy a ticket. Uh, will that be in the exam? This chair offends my delicate sense of symmetry. Aha! Uh -huh. Someone was chewing gum in my class and didn't give me any, except for the fresh box lunch. It's gonna rain homework! Someone was chewing and didn't... Better the junk you have than the junk in the sky. Away with the stuff! What's wrong with you? You sound just as pig-headed as your father. And he didn't bring the world to within an inch of total destruction through his behavior. Yeah, but his behavior isn't going to save it either. <sighs> now, I don't know much about the production of nicotine gum, but I have chewing gum, and that contains nicotine. Should work, right? Homemade nicotine gum. Should work, right? Nicotine chewing gum? Oh boy, oh boy. I've just realized that I've got the munchies. Wait, I'll just put my toothy pegs back in. Mmm, mmm. Munchtastic. Mmm. Oh, yummy! Master Whistlehole's dental adhesive. Because you know that life is good when your teeth stay where they should. Please ensure dentures are pointing in the right direction during insertion. And... strike! <laughs> What's going on? My mucous membranes are swelling up! Oh, anaphylactic shock! It's my goat's hair allergy! My eyes are burning! <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! You finally hit something dead on! <laughs> my sense of humor. They say allergies are nothing to be trifled with, but I don't see any signs prohibiting it. I, I've had enough. <laughs> I want to stop. That is also an important lesson. If you give up, you've already lost. Oh, shut up. Aw, oh, how is he ever going to get his gold back if he can't see the end of the rainbow? I, I've had... <laughs> that is also an if you... Oh, shut that reminds me of my brief career as an industrial spy in the Schlonzer sausage mines. I still don't know how my cover was blown. 
These barbarians should be reported to the Goat Protection Society. The poor animal should have been milked long ago. Hey, stay away from our junk ball training bag. I already told you that's a goat. Where do you think the bleeding comes from? From my wife, of course. She's always bleeding on at me. Claiming that my sports things are actually animals, nuns, or, or the neighbor's children. But how, pray tell, would a goat manage to get down here to the underwater palace? <laughs> okay, suppose that it isn't a goat. Can I still milk it? Of course, help yourself. But be careful, sometimes they bite. like the tank in Mac's lab. That reminds me of my brief career as an industrial spy in the Schwanzer sausage mines. I still don't know how my cover was blown. Master whistle holes, dental adhesive, because you know that life is good when your teeth stay where they should. Please ensure dentures are pointing in the right direction. Never lose those spectacular spectacles again, courtesy of Rufus's patented sticky specs. Never lose the... No way, until my 4D glass... Ta-da! I present to you the 4D glasses! Makes potential time portals visible and raises cinema admission prices by the power of two! Ta-da! Makes me... Who can tell me what this is? Are those supposed to be 4D glasses? It is a set of 4D glasses. Is that stained glass from a window? Don't touch! That is a highly sensitive, scientific whatnot. I see a kind of ring. Oh, I know! That must be a place where the dimension membrane between here and interim time is especially thin. Not thinner than your derivation, nerdo. <laughs> exactly, Hildy. It's in the middle of the machine. Oh, good. Then we don't need to calibrate it at all. <laughs> Fortune has changed sides. Now the idiots are completely screwed. Who can tell me why it's a good idea to put feta cheese in the tent? You probably built some 4D glasses and realized cheese emits tachyons, right? And now, the follow-up question. What color are tachyons? In one Latimer. Uh... She means pink. Then it is proven. Feta cheese emits tachyons. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> There! The portal is open! But that's way too small. Maybe there isn't enough pressure on the tachyon jets. More pressure? <laughs> no problem. I'm a professional when it comes to generating pressure. Another potential portal hidden under the carpet. What are we gonna do now? <laughs> yeah, but who knows if it's safe? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. The Chronicle! Hurrah! <laughs> the Tachyon must have spread out to the vicinity of the portal. There's a relatively high probability that they have opened up portal to Kuba. And how high is it? Having a clue. What now, thousand maybe? And that's good. <laughs> The only chance that we're going to get, and also one more than we really deserve. Uh, speaking of which, I still have to get gold. That means the leap into the unknown without any guarantee of being able to return, and that's a wait. No, I'd rather go get it right away. Gold, we did it! The guys and I have opened a time portal. Wow, well done. Don't be like that. I told you, I'll make it right again. And I told you, go away. Oh, come on, Gold. Take off the hat and... Hey, hand 
hands off! Uh, I do understand where you're coming from. After all, that palaver with the platypus puppet theatre wasn't exactly subtle, was it? Puppet theatre? Oh, that. that uh, yes, that was intentional. But look at them. They're both trapped without any hope. I'll never be able to escape my hamster wheel. Wait, you think you're the platypus in the hamster wheel? Of course. That one is clearly female. Look at her, she... Ha! Huh. <laughs> I knew it! There is hope! Ah, you're right. It is the male. At least she's now free. Yes. Wow. Look how happy she is. She'll recover. On the other hand, one shouldn't overuse metaphors. Oh. I'm not going without you. Don't make promises you can't keep. What's this? Hey, give it back! <laughs> when did you do that? While you were gadding about the fairground. What about it? And you got past the Nova Man with that? Well, someone had to make sure that things could carry on. But then why are you so angry? Because we're not together in the photo? No, because we are. An illusion. A snapshot giving the wrong picture. Or do you think that at the end of the day, we'll be sticking that picture into our photo album? Everything here is going to have to end up being undone and reversed, so that we can save the world, so that there will be no few locks on Elysium. That's how it has to be. Right? No, it isn't. Then tell me one thing that will still remain of our adventures. If you can do that, then I'm happy to come. Huh. Easy. In the end, there's always one thing that remains. There. Look at that. Hitchcraft? Hope. Oh. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's go. What the? What now? That looks like that interim we crossed in the time pod. But where did this city come from? And where are Gol and McChronicle? They jumped through the portal right before I did. Hey, you! You lock! Get off of my porch! Ah, a local. Can you tell me where I've landed? In my turnip patch! Wait a minute. Don't I know you? You're... you're... Glandula, the romantic ninja. Just old and ugly. How is that possible? Are you trying to talk your head off? Don't you mean, am I trying to talk your ear off? Not if I got my gun pointed right. Oh, 